Some of you say, ah, you are seeing so much about American election. Why don't you talk about Nigeria? It's the one that God showed me that I would talk. Nigeria. Huh? You need to pray for Nigeria. There is more hardship ahead. You need to pray. No, you, you are covered now. Remember the I, I am confession. I am daily loaded with. Uh -huh. So pray for Nigeria. I'm, I'm honestly, except by divine intervention. Except which I pray will happen. And if it happens, don't say that me, I said, eh, I said hardship will come, but hardship is not coming again. No, no, no. I said, except, that's why we are to pray. When we pray, some of these things can be averted. And when it is averted, we'll thank God. But let me tell you the truth. What I see them doing is artificial. The truth is, an invisible force is what is, an invisible beast as reading across Nigeria. There's nothing that they do that will stabilize it for as long as one month. It can't get up to one month. So pray. Pray for those of you who have relatives in government positions, in power, just pray. Nigeria, things are about to get even worse. Except by divine intervention. And I want you to pray against death around the presidency. Now, I didn't say the president, no. Okay, around the there are hundreds of people around that office just pray against death. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I tell you this, I'm, I'm telling you as I'm hearing from God. Okay, and let's see what God will do. But that election, oh, Kai, from the way I see it, Trump has to win, huh? Uh, among the two of them is the only one that can intercept God can use to intercept what is coming globally so it's not even because of America it's because of the whole world because there's a plan of the enemy to shut down again I don't know how you interpret shut down you get it but there's a plan to shut down amen I, I saw a vision for your wife, Pastor Prince, but we'll talk after. 